Today we're going to be talking about the top 20 interview questions that you might get if you're interviewing for a network security engineer position. Now these are the questions that I've been asked myself time and time again on all the interviews that I've attended and I would like to share them with you. As always, please like this video, subscribe and leave a comment and tell us more content that you want to see on the channel. Let's roll the intro. Number one, which port does BGP use? BGP uses TCP port 179. Number two, what are the different BGP messages types? You have the open, keep alive, update, and notification. Number three, what are the different BGP states? You have the idle, the active, the open sent, open confirm, and the established. Number four, what is the BGP path selection? Now, if you are going into a network engineering interview and you don't know the BGP path selection, then you are doomed. I like to use the mnemonic, we love oranges, as oranges mean pure refreshment. You need to memorize the BGP path selection metrics and know how to articulate them. How many states are open in OSPF? You have the down, init, two-way, xstart, exchange, loading, and full. Number six, what are the different OSPF LSAs? Now you need to be able to articulate the eight LSAs that are appearing on your screen during the interview. Number seven, what is MPLS? MPLS is a mechanism that allows the router to forward packets using labels instead of IP addresses. Number eight, why is MPLS called multi-protocol label switching? Because it supports protocols like Ethernet, Frame Relay, and X25. Number nine, why is MPLS called layer 2.5 technology? Because it inserts an MPLS header between the layer two and layer three header of an IP packet. Number 10, what are the functions of MPLS? Now here you need to be able to articulate the push pop swap during the interview. Number 11, what is penultimate hop popping? Penultimate hop popping is a method of reducing label lookups on egress routers. It's basically done by one hop before the egress router. Number 12, what is a DNS server? A DNS server is used to convert URLs into IPs. Number 13, what are the different DNS records that you know? You need to be able to articulate the A, triple A record, MX record, NS record, and the CNAME record. Now in my particular instances, interviewers, they were keen to ask about the CNAME record. Why? Because it's less widely used and it's less popular and known by people. So you just need to read a little bit extra on what the CNAME record is. Number 14, what's the difference between an IDS and an IPS? An IDS will only detect intrusions, but an IPS will detect and take action to prevent those intrusions. Number 15, tell us about the TCP three-way handshake. Now with this question, you need to be able to articulate the SYN, SYNAC, and the ACK how the flow happens between a client and the server. Number 16, what is a brute force attack and how can you prevent it? A brute force attack is when you're trying a combination of passwords over and over and over on a particular system. Now, how can you prevent this? By limiting the login attempts on that particular system or you can implement password complexity on that system and you can also specify a password minimum length that is mandatory on that system. Number 17, explain what a DDoS attack is and how you can prevent it. A DDoS attack is when a hacker sends a lot of requests to a particular server 
and the server gets exhausted and it can't reply. Now, how can you prevent this? You can use anti-DDoS services or you can configure specific rules in your firewall or your router or you can use front-end hardware, you can use load balancers and you can be able to configure a system in order to be able to handle spikes in traffic. Now in this last part, it's about IPsec. And there is no network security engineer interview that you will go and they will not ask you anything about IPsec. So you need to know IPsec in depth, it needs to be your bread and butter. Number 18, tell us the IPsec modes. Here you have the transport and the tunnel mode. Number 19, tell us the IPsec phase one and phase two. With this question, you need to be able to articulate the negotiation between the two firewalls or the two devices that are trying to set up an IPsec tunnel and you need to be able to articulate the phases involved and the protocols involved. Number 20, name the IPsec hashing algorithms. Here you have the MD5 and the SHA-1. Number 21, name the IPsec encryption algorithms. Here you have the DAS, 3DAS, AES and RSA. Thanks for tuning in. Please like this video, leave a comment and subscribe and tell us more content that you want to see on this channel. As always, never stop learning.